that position too. But this is a, you walk out of, this is a good illustration of the difficulty of working with stratigraphic units, of knowing when you're at the right horizon. As we came up, it was pretty easy to see the base of that big dark sandstone, or the top of the big dark sandstone, uh, marking into these cross bedded sandy or dolomites or dolomitic sandstones or whatever you want to call them. But as you came up section here, you, what happened to the rocks in terms of composition? What are you in now? Oh, coarse grained. Detritus. Detritus? <laughs> Detritus. No, what, what kind of rock is in Limestone or carbonate. I think it's a dolomite, right? It's, uh, probably mostly dolomite. I didn't visit. But it's mostly carbonate. So you came up here. If you look up above you, the Vlechagia tells you also that that's all carbonate up there. That's the El Paso group. And uh, somewhere in between, there's a transition out of mostly sandstone to mostly carbonate. But it's very gradational. You go from almost all sandstone down there, and then there's you just lose it. And by the time you get about up there somewhere, it's, it's virtually all carbonate. So you have a challenge if you draw a contact line, which has been a, when you want to draw a geologic map that, where you want to do structure, you want to know that you're on exactly the same horizon, right? Well, you have a problem here because it could, you might be down there, or it might be up here. And you have to make a choice. And this is a hard contact. When you get this kind of thing, it's kind of hard to map them very accurately for that reason. You just have to make a choice and live with it. Here it's pretty straightforward, in part because there's a weathering characteristic. So I would go by the by the by the change from this more massive material, this really the more sandy stuff, that's holding up the ledges, versus the stuff that forms more of a slope. Okay. That makes it easier to see when you look back that way. You can see there's the same thing. There's a ledge. There's the dark sandstone. There's a there's the stuff y'all were working in. There's another ledge and then another slope. So I would. Take at the top of the ledge forming unit, and then the rest would be the carbonate unit. Okay. And, uh, but how far you can trace that, I don't know. And gradational contacts always suck, and uh, because you just sometimes you just can't follow them very well. So would you split the difference or mark it right there? I would mark it right there. At that okay. So like you're kind of standing right on it right now. That's why I say if you got your GPS, mark that position because we're going to use that one later yeah. or record that it. position. Yeah, we got and, it. Uh, and we'll use that next week. <coughs> Did you want to say anything more here, Rip, or about any of the other carbonates? Well, I got it. Uh, not, not so, what, we just walk back this way? Is that the plan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, all that point out here is up above us is a lot of 90. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. 85. And I might, uh, one of us probably should run around, go down and pick up. Yeah.